<clears throat> What's up guys? What's going on? Uh, I got a new product here. Um, no, this is not the video you guys were looking before. This is a new video. I told you I was going to get another one of these. Another 120 gigabytes of OCZ. <clears throat> this is the hard drive. I already have one and I'm going to do this in a Ray Zero configuration. This is in our, uh, my Christmas gift. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install this and do the... the I'm going to show you how to install the Ray Zero configuration so you guys can know how to do it. Alright, so hand tight. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys really quick again what comes under the package. When you unpack this, you get, of course, um, manual, little insta sorry, installation guide and warranty info, a little st uh, sticker that says my SSD is faster than your HSD. You get your um, bracket right there. I mean, in this case right here, you open it like this, and voila, there it is, right there. Wow, badass, huh? Pretty cool. Alright, well, I just want to show you guys, for those who haven't seen the previous video. So let me get this installed on the computer, and then I will show you guys uh, how you do a Ray Zero configuration on a... Um, EVGA X58 board. <clears throat> okay, thanks. What's, up? What's going on, everyone? Since now that I put in my hard drive, the other SSD, you want to go into the BIOS and change it to to Ray your configuration on your hard drive. Now, please note this is on an EVGA uh, X58 motherboard. So, I don't know how the other motherboards are going to be, you know, uh, on the Asus Gigapit. So, on the VGA, you have to press delete a couple times to get in there. And then, what you want to do is you want to go to the integer, uh, integrated peripherals. You want to go to onboard, you know, pad and SATA uh, device. Press enter. And the SATA mode, as you can see, I already have it on the RAID. Um, before I was using it on uh, AHCI, so I'm going to select Ray, and then I'm going to exit out, and then I'm going to exit and save and say yes. Press Y and press OK. Alright, so now I'm going to reboot the computer. Now, the con to log in to set up your Ray, uh, it's Control I. So as soon as you start seeing that, screen that says press control I to set your ray up you press control I so you'll see it right now give me a sec as soon as you hear that beep noise just go ahead and press control I until you get into it there you go see control I control I alright so here we go so <clears throat> here we are at the ray configuration mode as you can see it's not a it's a non-ray disk, so we're gonna create one. Okay. So we go to number one, which says create, press enter. It doesn't really need anything, you call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it uh O C Z S S D, whatever you want to do. Now you have your and then you press enter. Now you have your selection. It tells you right here. What, what it means, Ray 0, Stripe Data, Performance, Ray 1, uh, Mirror Data, you know, so you can back up your, back everything, whatever you're doing on the other hard drive, it does it too. Ray 10, that's if you had a little bit more hard drives, so we can do that. You have to have at least four hard drives to do those, Ray 10 or Ray 5, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to do Ray 0. Okay. See if we can see how. Only see. That's right. It only selects. Lets me select. Um, <coughs> select either Ray One or Ray Zero. So I'm going to select Ray Zero. Okay. As Ray Zero, I'm going to leave it as default. 
128 kb. Oops. And the space what I want. Okay. Now I read that on an SSD you want at least you want to have 10 gigabytes of space left. So in other words, don't use all of it. So, but. I guess here we're just going to create the capacity, so I'm just going to click, that's fine, 223, press enter, and then it says press enter to create a specific volume. So it's all data, so whatever you, I had in my other disk is going to get erased, which is fine, I already backed up all my stuff, say yes to that, and see, there you go, fun array, that's how easy it was. Alright, so that's all you have to do. All you have to do is just put in your um, your Windows operating system and then it will install. Okay. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, I'll let you know. If I run into something, uh, I'll show you guys. Alright. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.